Good evening, we are the Toll Design Firm, and today we'll be presenting our dewatering system design of the Lake Whitney Dam. So the reason that a dewatering system is required is because the dam is in need of rehabilitation. Some things to keep in mind for our project design includes limiting the overall impact of the system, as well as adhering to the project construction timeline, which is two to three years, all while dealing with limited access to the project site. In order to start the design process, we first had to calculate the lake of the volume as well as the flow rates traveling through the pipes and our sponsors additionally requested that we develop a cost analysis along with an environmental impact source. This slide shows AutoCAD sketches of the top profile, front profile, and side profile of our design. So we are going to start a siphon system in the lake basin, run it over top of the dam and have it exit into the Mill River downstream. Our system is going to consist of three individual siphons, all uh, with a total length of 340 feet made of PVC pipe with 12 inch diameters. And it will be secured to the bedrock located next to the dam using both thrust blocks as well as metal straps. In order to model our prototype, we decided to build a small siphon out of PVC. Water is funneled in through the top valve, filling the, filling the pipes up. Then valves on both sides are released at the same time, which causes a vacuum seal, which will then transfer the water from the upper to the lower reservoir. This elevation difference will change the water level, then will determine the flow in the pipe. Using the model, we conducted some time trials in order to find the average time it took to transfer this water from the upper to lower reservoir. Then using the same siphon flow rate equations, other than changing some variables, it resulted in a very accurate time, which was only off by 0.01%, further proving that the dam will be dewatered in 66 days.